97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. The Panapo export sector has thrived since the early 80s up to today. It has a very rich history in terms of capacity to export until the mid-2000s when the global demand for the variety we were used to, that is the smooth cayenne, or also called the West African variety, was changed to the MD2 or the extra sweets. It meant that in 2005, Ghanaian exporters of pineapple had to shift from the old variety we knew to this new variety, which was now in demand worldwide. And this brought in this week a lot of challenges for us because number one, the crop was new to us. Technically, we were not too competent in this management in terms of agricultural practices and post-harvest management. Number two, the planting material was not available in the country and it, it had to be imported at a very high cost. Number three, this variety needed some special post-harvest management, including cooling after harvest. And this meant we needed to get more capital to procure uh, cooling systems, uh, packaging, uh, pack lines, pack houses, and other things, which we didn't need too much in the old era. And this meant we need to be recapitalized. And it has been very difficult for the sector operators to obtain uh, the appropriate capital to do the right investments, to be able to get to the productivity levels that will make us more, more profitable. And this has been a challenge for years. And because of that, uh, our production and export has come down about 50% from the mid-thousands to today. We are still struggling to overcome these challenges. Government has supported us in some way by making EDIF provide some support to farmers to retool and uh, providing some funds for the initial procurement of the planting material. But it has not been enough. What we need to do is to get a special finance package for a period of, let's say, five years, six years, to be able to turn around the situation so that the expectants can be on their feet as we used to be, so that we can then come back to the profitable levels and then productivity levels will also increase, export volumes will also increase. There are peculiar challenges that we want to have them addressed, apart from the financial packages that we need for the retooling. Uh, this particular variety demands more moisture than rain fed, which means we have to do some little bit of water development and irrigation in the growing areas. And it has not been easy to get funding to do that. We don't know whether government can support us in the growing areas to develop some of these facilities for us. Then we can all buy into it and pay over time. Mm -hmm. 